Marine and father of two defies the odds. Both of his legs were lost to an IED, and he was given a 2% chance of survival. Well, now to make life easier on the wounded vet, the Gary Sinise Foundation is building and furnishing his brand new smart home. San Diego 6's Jenny Day was at the groundbreaking, joins us live in studio. Jenny. Hey guys, have you ever really thought about the height of your countertops or the single step from the front door into the house? Probably not. But for one wounded warrior, those everyday things turned into major obstacles. Now there's hope coming in the form of four walls. It's brownie, chocolate pudding, whipped cream, brownie, chocolate pudding, whipped cream. Chef and Marine. The two-tour Afghanistan war veteran has a mean chocolate cake recipe, but catastrophic injuries that keep him out of the kitchen. The cooktop is going to be able, is going to be, uh, able to move, and that will help me because I'm not, I won't be reach, I won't be reaching over. Now, a custom-designed, specially adapted, and free home will God be built for friend. one of the most deserving Americans, making simple tasks easy again. One, two, three. The 4,500 square foot home will have low countertops, low cabinets, ramps, and enough room to cook and bake. It's overwhelming in a good way. March 7, 2011, Staff Sergeant Jason Ross stepped on an IED, leaving the six foot one Marine a double amputee. Phone rang, and it was the uh, the Marines telling me that Jason had been hurt, and at that point my knees buckled. I almost hit the floor. He spent three years in and out of the hospital, undergoing more than 200 surgeries. So while the road to recovery has been long, his mental stability has always been strong. My right leg was gone, and then I checked the other side, and the left leg was gone. And I just distinctly remember, put my hands up, still had my hands, and I was like, I'm good. So now by the fall, a man who fought for our freedom will regain some of his own independence. And the home of the brave. Now, the Gary Sinise Foundation has been around for just three years now, but they've already built 30 homes for severely wounded vets. And of course, he played Lieutenant Dan in Fort right. Gump. It's great that he's given back like that. And just to hear him say, at least I have my hands. What an yeah, impression okay. to meet that man. And if you're hearing the feedback at home, right. I apologize, but what a strong guy. I mean, to say his legs are gone and to see his hands there, mm -hmm. and I'm good. It was really moving to be with him. I mean, it just gives you a new perspective on life. He was so positive, still just so grateful for what he does have. All Incredible. Right. Yeah. And looking forward to going to school. He's still got many oh. dreams ahead. So. Absolutely. Good stuff. Right. Jenny, thank you. You're very welcome.